So this is school life, slice of life, drama, and romance. Hi everyone, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about Fangirl. This is a novel done by Rainbow Rowell. It got uh, adapted into a manga series. I have read the, th I've read three volumes. Um, I thought it was going to be over in the third volume and I'm not sure when the fourth one's coming out so I just decided to do the review with the knowledge of the three volumes that I have. Otherwise I might forget to do a review and I don't want to do that. Our main female lead is Kath. She is a introvert. She's also going into college as a freshman. She doesn't talk to like anybody. Well, she talks to people, but she has a hard time talking to people and being herself and getting herself out there. The main people she talks to is her dad and her twin sister. When she was younger, her mom left them. So because Kath's mom abandoned her, she does have like trust issues, abandonment issues, thinking that people who love her are going to leave her, which is understandable. That's not something like uncommon. So when she goes to her dorm room, the first piece of Pisa, the first person she meets is Levi. Levi is a real handsome, super sweet, just charming boy, like Southern boy. I would say Southern boy, but he doesn't have an accent, but he's, he reminds me of like a good old Southern boy. Just, just awesome, right? And she does not necessarily like him like that. Like she finds him attractive, but she's so wary of people and she thinks very unhighly of herself. Like she doesn't find herself attractive. She doesn't dress up. She just wears like pajamas and comfy clothes. Like she's just totally just doing her own thing, which is great. The reason it's called Fangirl is because she is absolutely obsessed with this book series that talks about these two male characters. She does her own uh, like fan fiction writing. So she posts these stories online where she's making her own fan fiction about these two male characters from a book series she loves. God, I hope that I hope that I explained that right because it it didn't sound right coming out of my mouth, but I know what I'm trying to say. I hope that made sense. If not, I apologize. I really, I'm really trying. So anyway, what happens though is Levi ends up asking her like, hey, can you read me like that fan fiction that you wrote? I'm really curious what it's about. So she does. She reads to him her fan fiction. He's like, he seems genuinely interested um, but certain stuff happens where she no longer trusts him. And on top of that, there's a lot of family issues going on. Her dad's not well. Her sister's pushing um, Kath to go like see her, see their mom or talk to um, their mom. And Kath is very much like, no, she left us. Why do you not understand that she left us? She doesn't want to be with us. Not only that, Kath is also trying to... <sighs> Not necessarily find herself, but she has always spent her whole life like with her twin sister. And now her twin sister is like, we're in college now. Like you need to go make your own friends and kind of like leave me alone. And I want to go and experience these things. And Kath is like, well, what about me? Like I thought we were like a team and we were going to be together. And her sister's like, deuces, no. So she has drama with her sister, drama with her dad you know, issues start to pop up with Levi, then she has um, classes still, and there's issues with classes. So far, I would say that I like the manga. I do plan on reading it until it's complete. I never read the novel. I've just read the manga. But so far, I like the manga. Um, I am very curious to see how it ends. I'm assuming it's going to be Sunshine and Roses, to be quite honest with you. That's, I think that's how most novels um, end up turning out with Sunshine and, and Roses. So 
that is my review for fangirl i appreciate you guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you later bye everyone